the hair I wear for wigsbypattyspearls.com. I am Lauren and today we are talking all about a crazy cute wig that I have been super excited to get my hands on. There is a lot of buzz in the hair community about this piece and when I found out I was reviewing it, so excited. Okay, the piece that we are talking about today is this gorgeous synthetic wig by Aesthetica and the style is Bay. Bay. Her name is just as soft as these loose curls, which is the focal point of this wig. This is all about just a relaxed, loose curl, almost a beachy wave. Y'all, this wig, it's, it's on point. You're really going to like her. Okay, so let's talk about the nuts and the bolts of this piece. Uh, like I said, this is a synthetic fiber wig, uh, Bay by Aesthetica. It is part of their front lace line wig, which as you can guess, it has a lace front that goes all the way down to um, the ear tab. So it's a great lace front. You're gonna see when I put it on just how natural it looks. I really think you're gonna like the way that this lace lays on your head. Um, first impression right out the box, me just feeling this fiber, I was really, um, it's a different feel. A lot of synthetic pieces you run your fingers through and they have that really silky um, kind of texture. And this actually has, um, I mean, I'm not going to call it rough or coarse, but it definitely has a little bit more texture to it, which I think gives it a more natural look. Um, you're going to see when I put it on that there is not a lot of shine in this piece. So you're definitely not going to have to do anything to modify it to get rid of that shine. All right, so let's talk about the length. The shortest layer, which Aesthetica calls, Aesthetica calls their bang, I just, it's long enough to me that it's just a front short layer. But that shortest piece is 13 inches. From the crown down, it is 13 and three quarters. And then from the nape down, it is 12 and three quarters. So this is definitely a longer piece. Um, I mean, definitely not as long as some of the pieces I've reviewed, but um, she's gonna look like a long wig. So uh, let's talk about the cap construction real quick. Um, this has a left side monofilament part. Definitely not for the center or the right side parters, but the left side gives you a little bit of wiggle room so you can move it over um, if you need to. There is an open cap with some wefting, super stretchy. And then at the nape, you have this hook closure so you can tighten around the nape for a snugger fit. All right, I'm gonna go get her on so you can see what she is all about. I really think y'all are gonna like her. Be screenshot ready, because here are all of the details on Bay. Okay, here she is. Y'all, I feel like I'm channeling my inner Emma Stone in this wig. I don't know if it's the color or the waves. I don't know, I just feel very Emma Stone-like in this wig. <laughs> Okay, so first impressions, um, she is really comfortable. All that wefting and that open cap is really stretchy and it's giving me a good secure fit around the nape and the back. Um, according to my measurements, I am an average cap size, so I feel like this is fitting true to size. If anything, I might um, take it up just a little bit at the nape. Um, I've heard Aesthetica pieces run a little on the large side, but for me, this piece, I feel like it's a great fit. It's not squeezing. I don't feel like it's loose. I think it's a really great fit. Okay, so I didn't talk about the color in my first video, but the color of this wig is RTH628. So the six, of course, is your medium brown base. You can see the highlights here in this piece. And then you have some auburns and caramel colors running through it. So I feel like this is a really great color for fall. It's definitely in the warm tone family. Um, but just a medium brown with a touch of red in it just gives it a really great warm look. Okay, let's talk about these curls. Again, this, I feel like this is, maybe the loosest curl I have seen on a piece. I mean, it's just, it's barely there. It starts about halfway down the piece. So it's gonna be totally straight up here and then you're gonna just, it just falls into that loose curl, which I think is super natural. Um, if you are the type of girl that doesn't like a lot of heavy curl around your face or a lot of volume up top, this is going to be a great piece for you. I love how this um, short layer right here just naturally kind of swoops to the side and then falls into that curl pattern. 
I think it's really natural and just really light and airy. I love it. Okay, let's talk about the different ways you can wear this piece. Now, I've had a lot of fun with this. So you can wear it, of course, just natural and you know, kind of straight up here, just right out of the box. This is how it comes. I did take a wide tooth comb and I went through it and separated some curl, but that's the only thing I've done to this piece. Um, now I have played around with it a little bit and I like to get my hands, I'm sorry, and my fingers kind of around the cap and just loosen up um, a lot of those fibers just to see how big I can get it if I did want um, more volume in this piece. Now, this may be a little too much volume, but if you're a girl who likes to wear her hair big, um, you could take some contouring cream that's made for synthetic pieces, get it on the tips of your fingers and just run it through and kind of go in and define some of these curls and you could get a nice voluminous look with this piece. See how it can just kind of poof up like that. Um, and the, the, curl pattern is still loose enough that it's not going to be like, you know, some huge big curly piece, but you're going to get these soft voluminous waves if you just go in and play around with it a little bit. Okay, so let's talk about shaping curls with synthetic pieces. Now, usually with synthetic curl, you have to be really careful. It tends to tangle easy. It can frizz easily. Um, your curly pieces probably do not last as long as those straight pieces simply because of the curl pattern and just, um, you know, the combing through. Um, those curls just tend not to last. I feel like this piece, because it's such a loose wave and a loose curl, it would probably last you a lot longer than the pieces that have the tighter curl. So all you need to do to take care of these curls is after you wear it, I would take some, um, conditioning spray or detangler that's made for synthetic hair. Spray the curls and then either take your fingers and kind of loosely go through or take your wide tooth comb and just gently pick through. Definitely do not start up here and just pull down. That will definitely damage the fibers. You want to be as gentle as you can. Get all the tangles out and then you can just take some water, um, wet your piece and then just kind of go with the curl and encourage it back into shape because with synthetic fibers, they have memory. So this was made to curl. So you just kind of have to encourage um, the shape of the hair. So that's really all you're gonna need to do for this synthetic piece. Um, but I think she's just beautiful. I love, love, love this curl. Okay, let me give you a 360 degree shot here so you can see what she looks like. So there is the side, there is the back, other side all the way around it's not super thick and heavy it feels really good really lightweight and again that loose curl is just on point I love it now if I were to customize this piece for me what I would probably do is go in at the part and I would probably pluck just a few hairs along that part line just to get it as natural as possible let me uh, give you a close-up of the lace front here. Kinda, there we go. Do you see how that lace is not bulky at all? It's super thin and it starts up pretty close to the hairline. So you don't have a lot of lace coming down onto the forehead that you're gonna have to blend. So I think the lace front is really, really natural looking. I would also go in and I would take some dark eyeshadow and give this a little bit of a root. When you have a piece with this kind of color where it looks highlighted and it doesn't have a root, sometimes it can look a little unnatural with those highlights starting right there at the scalp. So a little bit of powder um, or eyeshadow would help give that a really great natural look. Sorry, I'm trying to, <laughs> all that volume kind of got out of control. I gotta get it back under control here. All right, so ear tuck. You definitely can do a great ear tuck with this piece. Ear tabs are fitting right where they should, and always I leave some hair down before I put it behind my ears, just so you don't see the harsh line of the ear tabs. That's a dead giveaway that you're wearing a wig, is if you can see the outline of those ear tabs. Same thing over here, pull a little bit of hair down, tuck the rest behind your ear. You can definitely get it behind your ear, get it out of your face, like that. Definitely long enough to pull back into a low ponytail, and you could even pull some of these loose um, curls forward and just do some face framing 
layers like that. It'd be really pretty to do a side ponytail like that. Just clip it back and do a do a face framing layer right there. You could pull it back with a claw clip. Let's see. Get some hair back. Pull it forward like that. Just take a little claw clip and clip it back. Get it off your face a little bit and just kind of loop some of those curls up. So there's a lot of ways you could play around with this wig. It almost looks like underneath the hair gets lighter. See how there's a little bit more red in that section right there? So there's some great dimension to this piece. And you could always do, this is my favorite way to wear my pieces. I do one, one clip back like that. So I think she's really cute, really versatile. Again, I love how loose these curls are. I think it's such a natural looking piece. Okay, that's all I got to say about Bay. I mean, she just speaks for herself. So if you need Bay in your life, and I know you do, head on over to wigsbypattyspearls.com, check her out. The manufacturer is Aesthetica, the style is Bay, and again, this color is RTH6 slash 28. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. I will see y'all next time on the hair that I wear. Bye.